Action in five, four, three, two, one. In this tutorial, you will learn how to create the snowman key pin for the Winter Wonderland workshop. As the station leader, you will want to make sure that you have the following supplies on your table in bulk amounts. Paper towel, plate, blank keys, examples of the completed project, strips of fabric, pipe cleaners, pencils, pom-poms, Q-tips, toothpicks, and a foil that contains the colors orange, red, white, and black. Before beginning instruction on how to assemble the craft, you will want to spend about a minute or two discussing the service goals of the project. Prior to workshop rollout date, you will receive an email outlining the service goals for the craft. So let's take a look at how your station will operate. Step one, you want to make sure that you are properly stocked with all the supplies that you'll need. Step two, you'll want to state the project service goal. And step three, you'll want to show workshop attendees examples of the project as it will look when it's completed, along with the card that they will color that will also go along with this particular project. Now that you have an idea of what you'll be showing them, you'll also want to remember to tell them that they will also be taking a trip to Candy Cane Lane, where they will have a fun opportunity to get in the Candy Cane Lane photo booth and take fun pictures. So let's take a look at how we will assemble. The first step is to make sure that your attendees write their name on the plate. This particular step is very important because we've got to make sure that we get the completed hot glued snowman back to the right participant at the correct table. I'm going to go ahead and just fill in the name with black marker so that you can see it well in the camera. You'll notice we have the name and then we have the table address. In this case, it's table A and this snowman will belong to Sue at table A. Once that's been done, you'll explain to the participants that they are now going to design an outfit for their snowman. They will need to pick a pipe cleaner that they like as well as a key shape. Now you'll notice that the keys are in two different sizes. The larger keys are going to be used for our younger members. Our older girls can go ahead and select this key. Once they've done that, you'll instruct them to take the pipe cleaner and stick it through the keyhole. When they're doing this, also explain to them that it's important that the pipe cleaner be equal on both sides. So they'll have to make a little bit of an adjustment and kind of measure so they get those two ends equal in length. Once they're equal in length, instruct your participant to take one twist, that's all it takes, and then to place the keychain with the pipe cleaner on the plate. The next thing that they'll need to do is they'll need to select pom-poms. In this case, I'm gonna go ahead and take the red, put them on the plate, and then finally, they'll also need to select a scarf for their snowman. And they'll put that on the plate as well. And so what will happen is the glue gun operator will come by, pick up the plates, and they'll also return the plate. When the plate is returned, it will be returned to Sue at table A, and all the components will be hot glued on to the snowman. So now all your participant has to do is get ready to paint the face on the snowman. Now to do this, there is an order of operation. As you can see here, the snowman has two eyes, a carrot type nose, blushy cheeks, and a mouth. 
Because we want to be careful of not to get the black to get runny, we want to make sure that we put the cheeks on before we put on the mouth. So I recommend you have your participants begin by placing the eyes on the snowman first, because that's going to help us to determine where the cheeks go. And we're just going to dip this end of the toothpaste into the black paint. We don't want to have a lot of paint. This is a project that we're going to do um, sparingly with paint. So we'll just get the eyes on just like this. And you'll instruct your girl if they need a little bit more. They just dot that right on there. You can see how the eyes are coming out nicely dotted. Want to be careful that they don't get paint on the earmuffs. And once those eyes are just the way she likes it, we're done with that part. She can place the toothpick down on the silver part. And then now she gets ready to put on the blush. Now to do this, we're going to take a Q-tip. And one end will dip in the red paint. And you want to explain to them that we want this to be a pinkish color. So out towards the side, we're going to start mixing red and white together. And we'll do it on the side here because until we can get a nice rosy pinkish type color, that's what we want to have for the snow mat. Now we want to make sure that we've blended that well and we don't really want a lot of paint. So this is where we kind of blot a little bit to remove some of the paint. And then what we'll do is we'll go here for the cheeks. Okay, you can see that starting to come on there. Nice and rosy. And you'll explain to the girls, they'll just kind of fill that in. Again, we don't want it too dark. We don't want it too light. They'll just have to get that on there just right. And once the cheeks are on, may need a little bit more, depending on preference here. How large the cheeks are depends on the girl. Once you've got that on, now what you're ready to do is give that just a few moments to dry. You can instruct them that they can actually blow on it to kind of facilitate the blowing, the drying. And then take that same toothpick. Now with this end, you're going to stick it in the orange paint. Get that covered up nicely. And you're going to go with the nose. The nose is on a diagonal. So you're going to explain to your girls, just make a little diagonal line. And that'll look just like a carrot nose. You can add a little tiny bit of paint. You can see that a lot of paint is not needed for this project. Less is more. Once that's done, the cheeks should be fairly dry and we can start to dot in the mouth. Now, we want to be careful with this because we don't want to get smudges. So really explain to them about just dotting it on. And I'm just noticing it's just a dot. That's all it is. And you can see now it just takes a few minutes and we now have the face for our snowman pin and that will conclude it. Now what you'll notice is there's plenty of paint on this blotter so two girls can share this paint and then once that rotation is done we'll clear away the paint and probably start with something uh, fresh so that the girls can mix as well. So that's it and that's the snowman pin is done. You'll notice that there's a pin back already on the back and it's ready to go. The end.